everybody. Uh, I love creating new leg workouts. So for the second week in a row, I'm coming at you with an all new version of my torch leg workout. And this workout will kick your butt. I'm just not even gonna try to candy coat it. However, I've had many people who've been doing my workouts for a while who have learned to love leg day. And I swear it's possible, I promise. And it's actually a great thing to learn to love leg day instead of avoiding it. Uh, because it can be fun. Yes, it's challenging, but it's a really good challenge and it's a really good burn. And there's something to be said for pushing yourself, you know, harder than you normally would. Let's get into a runner stretch. Front knee at a 90 degree angle and I do not want you bouncing. Just let your hips sink towards the floor and you will really feel those hips start to open up, which is what we want. Uh, we are going to work our quads. We're gonna work our hamstrings. Our glutes are gonna get it in the process. We're gonna work our calves. It is truly a full leg workout. Sometimes you'll do workouts and walk away and feel like, oh, all, all you got, all you worked were your quads. Bring your knee into your chest. You have to keep your core tight to keep your balance. Somebody is saying hello, Linda. This makes me so happy. One of my best friends is on with me. Okay, so the first exercise that we are gonna do is a side leg box. So I want you to get your mat. And I want you to get a weight, uh, not too, too heavy, but you're gonna be on your side. Let me get my timer, because we're gonna do 45 seconds. And I want you to lay on your side. I want you to have the weight out here, bottom leg is bent, and you're gonna go out in front, up, back, and I really want you to get it as far back as you can, lower and in, okay? So again, don't go too heavy with the weight. I'm using an eight, but I'll most likely drop down, which is totally fine. So when you go back, you really have to keep those abs tight so that you don't lose your balance, okay? So front, up, so it's just the shape of a box which I'm a little bit obsessed with right now because I watched Bird Box last night. Holy cow, that was horrific. Well done. Not the best movie to watch alone, just if you would like any movie watching advice from me. Thank God I had a blanket because I hid under it like 10 times, like a child. Okay, really squeeze. You're gonna feel this in your whole legs. When you go to the front, you feel it in your quad. When you go up, you feel it in the side. It just moves all around, and that is what I like. We have five seconds left on this side. And I kept my weight, which I'm happy about. Whew. So how did your weight feel? If you had a totally easy time with that, then you know what that means, people. That means you need to go up and wait. Mine was a really good weight for me. Maybe the next time. Oh. Do tens. Okay, so top leg is straight. Make sure you have enough room. Your head is resting in your hands. Your top leg is straight, so just make the shape of a box. But when you go back, whoo, that's what I'm saying. I did not have my core tight. You have to keep your core tight. And you really have to squeeze that leg. The higher you move the weight up by your hip, the, uh, the easier it will be. Please. <sighs> you got this. How does your weight feel? You can totally drop down. Remember what I tell you. That is not a sign of weakness ever, ever, ever. <sighs> Squeeze. Done. Whew. Okay, what is next? Okay, so next you're going to get a chair or a bench. If you are new to working out, I would recommend you don't uh, just do this on the ground. But now that I have proper chairs that I can step up on, it's great. So what I want you to do is brace that chair against something. I'm gonna go back here because if not, you're gonna totally lose me. Okay, so I want you to Step up and bring that knee up. You have to keep your core tight. You're gonna lean forward and press that heel uh, up towards the top. Uh, and then you're gonna step down. So this is what it looks like. My chairs are actually not the best for this because they have a little padding 
but I'm gonna make it work. I would like your chair to either be flat, completely flat, hard, um, or else just do this on the ground, okay? Uh, I am going to go with 10 pound weights. We're gonna go for one minute. You have got to keep your core tight or there's no possible way that you're gonna keep your balance, okay? Let's go. So step up, squeeze those abs, and you wanna rock back, push that heel towards the ceiling, back out and down. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. Up, again, you can do this on the ground, and if you're just starting out, that's what I recommend, just until you really get your balance and if you have to reach out and steady yourself, that's okay. Push up with that heel towards the ceiling, then come back to the front before you step down. This is working our core at the same time that we're working our legs. Because you have to squeeze really hard to keep your balance. We have five more seconds. Let's get one more in. <sighs> okay. So how did that weight feel for you? The weight for that, you're not stepping up and down all that much, so it's not critical, but, and you actually might find it helps you keep your balance to hold the weight. Did I miss somebody? Oh no. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, uh, oh yeah. You wanna get your ball and you are going to brace it, okay? So what I want you to do is put really heavy dumbbells on your knees and I want you to squeeze your quads to get that weight up. So, I don't think it's possible to do this without bracing your ball. By all means, you are welcome to try. So I'm gonna do 20 pounds uh, on each knee because the fact of the matter is I can uh, drop down anytime I want. My weights are right there, it's not hard, and there's no shame in that. So we're gonna do this for one minute. Squeeze as hard as you can. You want your upper body upright. Squeeze. The further they are down towards your knees, the harder it's gonna be. You have got to squeeze your abs and keep them super tight. This is a slow and controlled movement, so you squeeze to raise and you squeeze to lower. You don't squeeze to raise and then let your foot flop back. Everything we do here at ViscoFit is slow and controlled. We are never sloppy. We never use momentum to move our dumbbells. 10 seconds. Squeeze those quads, squeeze those abs. That is the secret. <sighs> And that's what I'm saying. You need heavy weights or this is going to be way too easy. Okay. Awesome. Okay. One of my favorite, favorite moves that really hits the hamstrings. You will find this in my bun day workout as well. Different variations of it. But what I want you to do is lay back. I want you to put your heels into the ball. If you don't have a ball, do it on the floor, toes up, and I want you to squeeze and lower. It's just harder on the ball. So we're gonna go for one minute. You have got to keep your abs tight to keep you stable. Your heels are on top of the ball, but more towards you. Okay, so let's go. Squeeze up and down. Dig those heels into the ball and slowly raise and lower, but you are squeezing your hamstrings and glutes so hard to get you all the way up so that you are flat uh, surface. You are a straight line from your head to your knees when you come up. 
and the burn sets in pretty quickly, do not quit. We do not quit on ourselves here. We take breaks, maybe if we take a lot of breaks for certain exercises and there is no shame because you're still working harder than you would be if you had stayed in bed. Less than 10 seconds, come on. We got this. I know the burn is intense. Fight through it, three, two, one, done. Straighten your legs, oh my gosh. And pull them towards you and just stretch out your hamstrings. Okay, don't hate me for that one. Okay. So the next one we're gonna do, move your ball. Move your mat. You can see my workout area is pretty small, but I don't need any more room than this. So I want you to get light dumbbells. I'm gonna grab fives. And what I want you to do is get into a low squat and you're gonna squeeze. So you're gonna feel this in your obliques like crazy, but what I don't want you doing is rocking. That's not the movement. The movement is squeezing those glutes to get that leg up. You're also gonna be squeezing your quads and try to touch your knee to your elbow. If you can't, that doesn't matter. That's not what's important to me. It's the squeeze. So we're gonna alternate sides. Again, no rocking. We're not going off momentum. We're going off pure muscle. Okay, so your foot's not gonna come very far up off the ground, so just so you know. So get into the wide squat position. Squeeze. So you're squeezing your glutes and your obliques. So you're getting a little extra. So see my elbow is not always touching my knee. When your legs get tired, take a little break. Oh my gosh, she's okay from my butt. And that's good, that's what we want. So you see, no shame in taking breaks. Squeeze those legs to get them up. Come on, we have five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Whew. Finish a minute, people. Always, always, always. Do not quit, don't stop at 45 because you feel like you can't go on. You drop the weights, you move as slowly as you need to to finish the minute, finish the exercise and not quit on yourself. So. That's a good thing about a new year. It gives you a chance to recommit to yourself and your health, both emotional, physical, spiritual. It all works together. And you know what? When you take care of you, you're that much better for everybody in your life. Okay. So next, get your ball again. We are going to work our calves. And again, you want heavier uh, dumbbells. You do not need to brace your ball unless you want to. Our motion or our placement is pretty much where we were <clears throat> before. So you're gonna sit, your abs are tight, your dumbbells are on your knees as far out as they'll go and raise up on the ball of your feet. You want your knees at a proper 90 degree angle and when you come up, you squeeze those calves as hard as you can. So again, we're not about momentum here. We are about full range of motion, squeezing. You have got to keep your core tight. If your ball is not braced, that's gonna be even harder. Squeeze. Now, if you have not gotten heavy enough weights, this is gonna feel super easy for you. So that means you need to drop and go up, because that's the thing. Dropping down is not the only thing. You can reassess and realize that you picked weights that are too light 
So this is not challenging. Your calves should be burning. If they're not, bump it up. Squeeze, you've gotta keep those abs tight to keep you stable on your ball too. That is why I love working out on the ball. This is like the best piece of equipment because you have to fight to keep your balance on this thing. Three, two, one, done. So I use 17 and a half, and that was pretty good. I got an intense burn in my calves. Okay. All right, I love this one. It's challenging though, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have light dumbbells. You're gonna squeeze, your foot's gonna go out to the front. You're gonna hinge over, arms out in front, leg out to the back. Try to be as flat of a surface as you can. Uh, these are really, really challenging. You're gonna depend a lot on your core. Uh, do, not, do not go too heavy with your dumbbells. I'm gonna have my fives, but I'm actually gonna keep my threes close by because I usually end up needing them. So what are we gonna do? Uh, let's do 45 seconds on each leg. Do not get discouraged if your balance is crap. I'm telling you right now, my balance was crap for the first year I did this exercise. Uh, but what you realize is even when you're losing your balance, you're fighting, right? So when you're fighting like this, what are you working? This entire midsection, the center of your power, your core. So it's not like anything bad is coming out of you losing your balance other than you being hard on yourself and thinking, I'm, I suck at this, I'm terrible at this, I can't do this. No, you change, change the conversation. It takes practice, that's what we're working on is balance. And in working on our balance, we strengthen our core, okay? I am done talking now, let's go. So squeeze that leg out straight to the front, out to the back straight. And you also might find that you have one side where you have better balance than the other side. By the way, you will know the second you release your core because you'll lose your balance. Oh yeah, dropping those. 15 more seconds on this side, and then we're gonna go right into the other side. And you are, feel free to drop the weights at any time. You can still squeeze. Let's just, why not get a little extra work in on our back and shoulders. Okay, shake it off, take a quick sip of water. I know I said we were gonna go right into it, but I needed a little water. <clears throat> okay, other leg. Squeeze that core, that standing leg is super tight. My standing leg is never totally straight. Yours can be, but I'm not super flexible. So, <sighs> drop the weights if you need to. There is no shame in that, I promise. If you lose your balance, you're gonna start to lose your balance more as you get more fatigued, five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. How did you guys do on that one? How did it feel? I love that one, it always makes me sweat. Okay. The next one, we are doing. Hold on, I lost my page. <sighs> wow, that was hard. <clears throat> oh, here it is. All right. The next one that we're going to do, uh, we did last week, and I love it. Wide squat sweep. So you really have to squeeze. Everything is working. Uh, I would like you to hold, uh, you know what, we're not gonna hold any dumbbells, but we are gonna go for the full minute. Keep your core tight at all costs. At all costs. Oh, hi. It was hard, right? I know. That's why I don't want, I don't want people to be mad at me. 
but I figure they'll get over it. Sweep, squat, sweep, squat. Core is tight. I want you going as wide as you can. Keep those shoulders back. When you need a break, take it. I know. Take those breaks. Come. It's fine. I constantly take breaks. And you also might find that one morning you're like, gosh, I felt so good the past week. And this morning I feel lethargic and sluggish and it's okay. We all have those mornings where maybe we didn't sleep great or we have a lot on our mind. Three, two, one, shake it out. So your workout is affected, but remember you're still doing it. Even if you didn't feel like it was your best one. <sighs> okay, how are we doing on time? Excellent. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do, you know that I love a good curtsy squat. We are gonna step back and then I want you up. Step back and then I want you up. And I really want you to focus on your core. It is the easiest thing to... Oh, hi Trevor. Um, I'm glad you can do it on the replay. Um, it is the hardest thing to remember, especially as you get more fatigued. You, uh, you release your core. It's just what happens. So you really have to focus on it. So we're going to do 45 seconds on each side, slow and controlled. Not worried about speed. I'm worried about form, most importantly. Okay, and that you don't quit. Okay, so you step behind you, your core is tight, that knee is not in front of your toe, and come up. Squeeze. Again, your core is what's gonna help you keep your balance. Check, look down, make sure your knee is behind your toe. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. You got this. I know that this is challenging. Take a break when you need to. Drive up through that heel. I know the burn is intense. Three, two, one, done. Other side. How are you feeling? Did you notice anything about your form that you want to do better this time? Most important thing is that knee does not go in front of that toe. You are stepping back and to the side, okay? Step back into the side, check that knee. Sorry, keep your core tight. And if you lose your balance, it's okay. I did too, because my core wasn't tight. So that's why you have to focus on it. If you lose your balance, just reset, gather yourself, and get back into it. These are the best exercise. One of the best. They're brutal. I know. But holy cow. Less than five seconds. Three, two, one, done. Get some water and shake those legs out. is not going to be very happy about because she has bad knees so she won't do this one but I know she knows she does a modification for it so what I want you to do stand in a position you're going to kneel kneel up up change legs each time if for some reason you cannot do this just do squats sit back drive up through those heels and squeeze for the minute that we're doing these. I want you to hold dumbbells. You don't want to go too light because you're working legs, but you don't want to do, go too heavy or you're not going to be able to get yourself up. And trust me, good form. 
Same thing I say with all the exercises, but this is key, okay? So kneel, kneel. So when you put your foot up, push up through that heel and switch legs. Drive up through the heel to stand up. Come on. This is brutal pretty much right out of the gate, but we tough our way through it. Try to push up totally with that front leg and don't use your back leg as an assist. Take a break when you need to. Again, I know this one is tough. We're going for a minute. We're doing so well. 10 seconds left. Keep that core tight, keep those shoulders back. Don't start to hunch over. It's our last one. one or none at all okay it's a little bit tricky to get into this position but just watch what I'm doing you put the dumbbell right between your shoes and you push them together you lower and you squeeze to get it to the top okay you want your feet to kiss the ground but not to rest okay and I realized by doing this I'm gonna go with a little bit heavier dumbbell so I'm going to put my eight away, go with my 10. Again, it's a little tricky. You can also stand the dumbbell up like this, roll over, wrap your feet around it, okay? And we're going to go for one minute, squeeze as hard as you can, and at any moment, you drop that dumbbell. Okay, you're, remember your toes just kiss the ground. So you're squeezing your hamstrings and your glutes to get that weight up and you have got to keep your feet tight on the weight so you don't drop it. <sighs> Squeeze. How does your weight feel? I hope you guys are sweating because I'm sweating my butt off. <sighs> How's it feel? I'm going to go up to a 12 for the last 30 seconds. Again, that's the thing. Going up in weight, like going down in weight. Oh, this was the right move because now I'm totally burning it up. It was challenging before, but five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. I'm just gonna wait here a second. I hope that's okay. Oh my gosh, we're so close to being done and doing abs, which I'm not kidding people. This is when you start now. I love people that get mad. They go shopping for a bathing suit in March and they're like, oh my gosh, look terrible. And then they're mad that they don't look better by April. You start in the winter, look better for spring. That's the way it works. While everybody else is cozy on the couch and sleeping late and eating more, you're just taking 20 to 35 minutes a day, sometimes 40 if we do abs, to take care of yourself. And then when spring comes, you're like, game on, I'm ready. And you don't feel like crap about yourself, which we have, we're all hard enough on ourselves as it is. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is a jump squat. So you're gonna go down and up. So when you sit back, those knees go behind, the, sorry, your butt goes to the back so that your knee, knees are behind your toes. If you're just trying to go straight down, your knees are gonna come past your toes, no bueno, okay? So we are gonna do one minute and that's perfect. Actually, we're gonna do 45 seconds because that's how long we have left in this workout. So jump straight up. Go down as low as you can. Just keep checking your toes. Make sure your knees are not out in front of them. Sit back. 
I know. Take a break when you need to. Kicking your butt on the way out. And my own. Oh, come on. We got this three to four second break and then you get back into it. I don't care if you take five breaks. Don't quit. Oh my gosh, she's getting me every time. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Oh, I'm really sorry about those. Truly, truly. Take your knee, pull it into your chest. Lunge to one side, keep your knee behind your toe. How are you guys feeling? I hope you'll stay on with me for abs. Get into a wide squat, put your forearms on the inside of your knees and push out. Straighten your legs, you can grab your calves, your ankles, your shins. Let's stretch those quads. You can hold on to something if you want. Press your knee down into the back. Other side. All right, let's do 10 minute abs. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do, there's an exercise called the crawl. And essentially this is it. We're not doing that. We are gonna get into the crawl position. Your knees are gonna come down a little bit and you're gonna row, okay? So your dumbbells don't have to be super heavy. They should be comfortable on your hands. If not, you'll probably have to release them. But this is what you wanna do. Because you have to squeeze those abs so hard to stay in this position. Oh, Michelle. Awesome, good luck getting the kids off to school. My friend and I call it the zoo, because that's truly what it is. And we all know it, okay. Uh, one minute, finish the minute, take breaks when you need to. At any point, you can drop the weights because you're still gonna have to squeeze your abs to stay in that position. Oh, 10 minutes on the timer. Let's do, here we go. Okay, remember your knees are down towards the ground. So yes, you're squeezing your back to get those weights up, but you're Abs are working so hard right now. If the dumbbells hurt your hands or start to hurt your hands, move them to the side. You can do one, then the other, whatever works for you, or you can drop them completely. Squeeze, squeeze those abs. Take a break when you need to. <clears throat> to get into a plank position. And in this plank position, you're gonna be like this, feet apart. You're gonna flip over and back, flip over and back. So the reason I love this exercise is because the amount of work that takes place in your abs during this exercise is bananas. Uh, have fun with it though. Again, we are not moving for speed, or we're not, our goal is not speed, our goal is stability and solid form, okay? Feet are about shoulder width apart. So you just hook that leg over. I want that arm pointing up towards the ceiling. If you lose your balance, I don't care. 
Just recollect yourself. Get back in starting position or just hold for a second until you get stable and then you go again. <sighs> These are brutal, I know. Take a break. <sighs> I told you that someone once asked me, why don't you wear a microphone? I said, because all anybody would hear is me huffing and puffing. And that would be so annoying. So you already hear enough of me huffing and puffing. Three, two, one, done. Oh, let's go back into child's pose. After that one, stretch your fingers out as far as they'll go. Wow. Okay. Did this one the other day, but I'm doing it again. There are certain favorite moves I have that are so effective that you'll see them more often than others. Okay, you're gonna lay on your ball. Your rib cage is against the ball. Your arm is wrapped around it. Your bottom leg is bent. Your hand is lightly behind your head and you bring your knee to your elbow. You really gotta work. I'm not gonna lie. 45 seconds, you got this. Squeeze those obliques, put your hand there to make sure that you're squeezing as hard as you can. We are not going, we are not jerking ourselves in any way. No jerking like this. I don't want you doing that because that is a good way to injure yourself. Squeeze. If your knee does not touch your elbow, that's okay. Get as close as you can. Squeeze. Everything is tight. Three, two, one, done. How are you guys feeling? I need a little water. And then we're gonna do the other side. 45 seconds. Okay, you're laying on the ball. Arm is wrapped around it, bottom knees bent. Tight, tight, tight. And you're squeezing those obliques to get your knee to your elbow as, or as close as you can. Squeeze. I know. We're doing this though. We are not quitting. We'll take breaks, but we're not quitting. Come on, fight for it. Squeeze those obliques as hard as you can. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Let's see how we're doing time-wise. This gives me an excuse to lay on my ball. I really love this thing a lot. Okay, so we're gonna stay on the floor. You're gonna keep the ball. And you are going to hold it between your feet. Your legs are bent, your arms are down by your sides and you're gonna squeeze. You do not want the ball to come all the way down to the ground. You are purely using your abs to get it up and down. So all you do is just bring your knees towards your head and that's the motion. We are going for one minute. Curse me all you want if it helps you finish the minute. Squeeze. Remember the ball can kiss the ground but I don't want it resting on the ground. Squeeze. It's really easy to hold your breath on this one, so don't do it. And remember, you're not jerking like this. You're slow and controlled. Make those abs work on the up and the down. 
That's what makes this so effective. When you need a break, three to four seconds and get back into it. Squeeze. I've rededicated myself to working my abs in 2019. I used to do my 10 minute ab blocks after most of the workouts and then things just got really busy. But I'm back on it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Oh. Wow. Okay. All right, now we have to move our ball out of the way. And the next one we're doing, I want you to get a dumbbell. Not too light, not too heavy. I love this exercise. You grab a dumbbell, you lean back, and you touch the end of the dumbbell on each side. If you can't totally touch, that's fine. What's important to me is that you're leaning back, you are squeezing those abs to keep you in this position, and then you're also getting the rotation in your trunk, which is awesome. All right, let's go. I know, squeeze. Do not hold your breath. Try to keep your knees as even as you can. Keep your feet together. If you want an added challenge, you can bring your feet up off the ground. I do not need an added challenge this morning. Take a break when you need to, three to four seconds. You got this, come on. Squeeze. We're not gonna quit. Come on, finish the minute. 10 more seconds. Come on, three, two, one, done. Holy cow. Holy, holy cow. 12 more seconds. So lay back, stretch your hands and feet as far away from each other as they will go. Arch your back a little bit to really stretch those abs out. Bring your knee into your chest, fold it over, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Pull your knee into your chest, fold it over. Rock yourself up. Take your wrist, stretch out those obliques. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. That was hard, uh, it was hard for me. Uh, and like I said, I have a feeling I'm gonna get some messages from you guys. Anyway, have an amazing day. Uh, tomorrow morning, same, t it'll be seven or 7.30 tomorrow morning. And I think I'm gonna do my cardio weight workout tomorrow. It's a really good one. Uh, I've been working on a new version, so hopefully I'll have that done by today. Okay. Bye.